Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. In today's video, I want to give you another strategy using monthly time frame. Yes, there is a strategy that you can use on monthly time frame and this strategy is easier because you need to look at that pair once per month. So you just need to pay attention every every end of month. So you'll have a calendar because we tend to forget, you know, as a trader, you have so many things going on. You have to put reminders in your calendar. So let's say, for instance, AUDSD is the, uh, a pair that you have chosen. You have to put a reminder that come at the end of the month, I need to check how the candle closed. So this strategy is very easy because you just need to check once and you are done. And if you get an entry confirmation, you can hold this trade for months. There are people who have, who have been holding trades for years and you wonder how did they know that the market will either buy or will either sell. It's because they use higher time frame for their, for their analysis, for their confirmation and entry they can enter on any time frame. It doesn't matter. But what matters is that this person will go to monthly chat. They wait. They can even wait for four months just waiting for an entry. And once they get that entry, they will be able to get thousands of pips because on monthly time frame is where you get those thousands of pip and you can hold long long uh, periods of time so in this case i will show you an example of uh, two trades that if you check on monthly you can get a long term direction and we'll start with euro gbp euro gbp we have seen uh, for quite a while uh, since 2016 it has never guys Euro GBP since 2016, it has never broken this support. So you will just go on your chart, pick the pair that you want. In this case, you want Euro GBP. Just write that is your support. And you can see clearly the market has never broken this support since uh, 2016. So you can see we, were, we have been trying to break this support since January, Feb, March, but we were unable to break this, uh, uh, we were unable to break this support on April. So I can bring that uh, red candle and I, I ah, not red candle. I can bring that horizontal line. And guys, if this market breaks this line, what do you think will happen? If GBP, if all of a sudden pound gains uh, momentum, it, it gains power back and the market breaks this support, the market may come to this zone. And these are thousands and thousands of pips. Let's see if they break here all the way there. It's 1,225 pips. Guys, this is a trade that you can, you, you know, like uh, in saving. See, people have banks, they go, they save for a whole year and they don't mind. Even as traders, we need to have those strategies that once you enter a position, you say it's like my bank. I will hold this trade as long as the, the entry confirmation was okay. I will hold this trade until it gives me a thousand pips. So even if you are using the smallest lot size, you will still benefit from the drop of this market. So we can see that the market has been on this support and there was some rejection. We can see clear rejection. And if I put the 20 MA in place, I don't know, uh, the 20 MA is where the market is at the moment. So uh, we can see the market is at the 20 MA, meaning something great can be happening on Euro GBP. Pound may be gaining some power back. And if this market starts dropping, all we need to see is the drop, is the break of this uh uh, support. So what I've done, I don't trade Euro GBP. Actually, I do not trade Euro GBP. But I wouldn't mind if I come and I open my chart and I find, imagine, come uh, maybe some few months from now, you find that the market had has already broken the support that has stayed for almost seven years. What would you do? This is a clear indication that that market will drop. So for me, I don't trade this pair, but I always check it I always check this pair every month to see what is happening. So you can see the resistance is very, very far. The market was unable, to, it is unable to break there. It has been able to break the resistance. So in short, this market is on a channel. 
so how do we build a channel? How do we create a channel? The market is on a, it's on this box. So this is the box that the market has been. Um, so this is our our box. The market the price has been consolidating on this channel for quite a while. So what do you think if the support is broken? We will measure the the length of that box. We'll measure the length of that box. This is how I'm showing you this what you do to know if the market breaks where will it go so we will measure that and you can see it actually will drop to this level so once the market breaks here you will just enter sell and we forget we had that trade so all we can do on lower time frame is to see if we can get other entries as the market keeps dropping but until that time we cannot even touch euro gbp because on monthly time frame we have no indication and i'll be posting i will be updating you on what will be happening so by the end of this a beginning of a month so this whole um the month of may i won't even check on euro gbp but the end of may i have to check it to see the next uh the next um the next market that i'm i'm looking for for a uh, uh, an entry on monthly time frame is euro usd euro usd you can see we might have a double bottom on monthly so this is what i'm thinking we can be having a double bottom on monthly so i will be checking how this may month will close you can see we have this first bottom and now we might be having a second bottom so euro usd it is on a key zone so trying to trade euro usd it might be hard at this moment because you don't know what will happen and if this euro usd starts going up you can see our first target uh it's the 20 ma you can see where the 20 ma is so our first target is 1.13 that is our first target if this market starts going up and if it breaks the 20 ma of course it will come to the neckline that's our neckline and the neckline is 1.25 so if at all we start seeing euro gaining more momentum gaining power with the event that will come this euro usd is one of the pair that if the the monthly even on monthly time frame we get um an indication that the market will now start buying uh we are good to go so that's how you check that's how you check you can see for instance we had a, a double top on monthly you can imagine someone who spotted this double top and they knew the market will go down here. So they hold this market for how many months? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten good months. That's almost an year. That's why I'm saying people who check monthly time frame, you can put a trade on Jan and you're not even concerned to close it. One month passes, two second months passes. And you say if that trade goes to where I want, that is like a saving for me. Even you can have a different account. You can open an account and you say, on this account, I just put trades that I'm not willing to close anytime soon. But before you put or you place any trade, you need to have confirmation. And how do you get confirmation? You will go on your monthly chart. Monthly chart is where we get confirmation if we want to be uh, swing traders where we can hold trades about uh, for months. So guys, this strategy may work on anybody. Even if you're a beginner, it's easier. You'll come and see support. And this kind of the way it will close this month, it is very, very important. If this support is broken, because I'm not saying that the, I'm just looking for a double bottom. The sellers may break that. If this is broken, now the euro may, uh, the euro USD may continue dropping. So I'm not a one-sided person. I just come and check what happened. If I find it broke like this, the market will continue to go down. And you can see, you can see we have uh, the market, the last time the market was about here. So it can just drop to 0 0.96. And I don't know, I'm just saying if it breaks, we can have a move to the downside. So be open. Don't be, oh, Esther Moffrey said it will buy Euro USD. It will, be, it will buy a long time until this month closes with a candle that we are sure that the market will continue, will start moving up. 
we don't have a, an idea where the market will go. So monthly time frame even sets this, the pace. So monthly strategy, uh, monthly strategy will help you identify if you are, if the pairs that you're trading, they have already set pace. Because if you come and find a double top on monthly that is ongoing, there's no way you will think of buying, you will think of selling. So guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.